I have a question. Uh, it's um, pertaining uh, in the book, Askin is given the 17 second flashpoint for thought. Why do you want to know about that? Well, I've been involved in meditation and things, and uh, it sounds simple to, to have an uninterrupted thought for 68 seconds or whatever involving. Here's the thing. We like your question in relationship to what we've been talking about, about forking. Okay. Now, we're going to readdress this 17 seconds with okay. a new way of looking at it in light of this forking your way into the vibrational corner of your choice. What he's talking about is... We say that when you hold a thought for 17 seconds, only 17 seconds, another thought that is vibrationally same joins that thought, which makes that now a more powerful, more attractive thought. And when you hold that thought for 17 seconds, then another thought is joined until after 68 seconds, which is just a sequence of 17, 17, 17 after 68 seconds, you have, if you are able to maintain a momentum, you'll have true movement in your vibration. So what we're talking about in terms of forking is I'm worried about money. I don't have enough money. It's not right that I don't have enough money. This is all 68 seconds of maintaining thoughts that in the same way, the momentum will carry you in the direction that you are pointed. And so as you make an effort to fork in the direction of what you're wanting and you hold that thought for as little as 17 seconds, then another thought equal or better will occur to you. That's our point. And once you do that for 68 seconds, now let's do that here relative to this forking technique, relative to something that's important to you. It just seems like you start out focusing and 10,000 other thoughts come in though before that you know well maybe they a few do minutes go by. maybe they do but here's the thing those 10,000 other thoughts are vibrationally compatible with the thought that you started with we don't want you to hold a singular thought we want you to hold a singular vibration in other words for example let's say you're holding the thought of love I love my friends I love my nieces I love mm -hmm. my dog I love the world I love the flower I love life I love in other words when you get into that vibrational essence of love there could be endless subjects that you could apply it to or when you get in the subject of frustration or hey what wherever you are along this emotional scale there are endless thoughts subjects that hold the same vibrational equivalent we don't want you to say floor 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 blue floor blue floor blue floor <laughs> blue floor blue floor carpet fiber carpet fiber carpet fiber, carpet right. fiber. we're talking about vibrational essence uh -huh. of something and we want you to be aware of what the thought is that you're feeling and stay there for 17 seconds and hold the thought and then reach for another mm -hmm. and then reach for another and four or five or six or seven times of forking deliberately in the direction of what feels good is enough to get the momentum going enough that you could say enough forking for now I've mm -hmm. left myself in an entirely different place and I can begin to expect different vibrational response from the universe mm -hmm. I think you've answered my question. Uh, Let's fork. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a continual process, I, is what I'm. Uh, it's uh, continual and it's now. Mm -hmm. It's not, oh, I'll wait until I get my journal and I'll line right. it up later. It's not, oh, I'll wait until I get to my desk and open my computer and do it later. It's mm -hmm. not, oh, I'll wait until I've brushed my teeth and combed my hair and gone out into the kitchen and fixed my breakfast. It's now, 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 okay. now, 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 okay. now, now, now. Now is life. And now is where you feel the vibrational relationship of the life that you're living now. And we want you to start feeling that life is about focus and feeling is about focus and life is about how I feel and how I feel is about vibration and vibration is about my point of attraction and my point of attraction is about all of my manifestations but all of my manifestations aren't about now how I feel is about now you see good so let's fork okay well I just give you like uh, let's say money um, I'll start uh thinking about uh, it seems I'm okay until I get to like a specific amount or something and then they'll say like well no you can't have that 
well, or now let's, how's it going to come or when's see, it going to come? It's not even that vague or that off in the distance. Uh -huh. It's about something that's happening in this moment. In other words, you're having visceral responses uh -huh. to what's happening in a moment. And this is the thing uh -huh. that we want you to all become aware of. It's not my overall financial situation uh -huh. that I'm thinking about in this moment. It's what am I going to do right now? It's can I afford that? Does that cost too much? Do I want to buy this for someone that I love? Uh -huh. Esther awakened yesterday morning all excited because she said I dreamed about a magnificent car and she said I saw it and I wanted it mm -hmm. and I loved it and I knew I could afford it and I bought it and I drove it and I loved it mm -hmm. and Jerry said what kind of car was it and Esther said I have no idea <laughs> It was a dream about seeing something and knowing it was possible and loving everything about it and stepping into it. It was about the next logical step. It was about vibrational relationship. It was about the gap being closed. It was about the point of manifestation. In every moment, you are living your life and molding the way you feel about the subject at hand. And life is dealing up the subjects. In other words, you're in traffic. Life has dealt up the subject. And so as you're in your now and you are thinking about those 17 second explosions and you are making an effort to lean in the direction of what you're wanting now you're in control in every moment and oh 30 days of that loose awareness and that deliberate forking mm -hmm. cleans your vibration up on so many subjects that people who are watching you would hardly recognize you as the same person in terms of what's beginning to flow into your experience so talk to us give us an example of your interaction with dollars and then give us some words that amplify that moment uh, i've done well enough for myself i think i'm been my concerns have been for helping out other people we think so too yeah. but you brought it up for uh, a reason yeah it's kind of like the old uh take two steps forward one step back when i'm focusing on things it seems like i'll but you see the reason that we're sort of stubbornly holding you here uh -huh. is because <laughs> you want to talk hypothetical uh -huh. and we want to talk in the moment moving up the vibrational scale uh -huh. so you just said it seems like I take one step forward and two steps backwards which way did you fork with that statement backwards so now what do you want to say well anything's possible there's people better statement that, that have what I want now so better statement mm -hmm. keep going uh -huh. in other words find the vibrational essence of that and hold it for 17 seconds that's what you came okay. to talk about here uh -huh. so you went the direction you didn't want to go mm -hmm. and now what vibrational essence are you wanting to get hold of and maintain um, um, I've always had enough more than enough actually to get by all things are possible mm -hmm. I'm getting a handle on this deliberate creation mm -hmm while it is always ebb and flow and I never have seen anyone make a direct beeline toward anything they're always moving around it one way or another or over or under it in other words every journey to every destination is flexible like that but I always consistently keep moving in the direction of what I'm wanting my life continues to improve my life really does get better and better and while certainly there are things that I would like to improve you might be forking the other way just a little bit with that on the whole things are going very well for me and mm -hmm. I ask this question not only because I'm eternally trying to improve the quality of my own life because we all always are and as a teacher there's nothing better than teaching through the clarity of my example but I really want to get this so that I can demonstrate it to others both visually and verbally I want people to begin to understand that we are the creator of our own reality and the way we feel is everything and life is supposed to be good and a abundance is out there for all of us and it is illogical that there would be some people that would have outrageous abundance and some people that would hardly have any abundance of at all it must be a vibrational variance and so it's fun to get a handle on it and I like watching it in my own life and I love how the universe will deliver to me exactly the vibrational equivalent to what I'm offering and I love playing this forking game because as I play this forking game I can feel more and more how I'm showing up my vibration and I can feel that here now as I've been deliberately forking 
talking that I've achieved a vibrational essence with a thought way more than 17 seconds way more than double that or triple that or quadruple that I must be way over the 68 second mark I'm sure that I've been way over the 68 second mark and it hasn't been difficult as I got pointed in the right direction because the more I got head in the right direction the easier it was to go in the right direction there's sort of momentum going I'm starting to feel freaking <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there isn't anything that I can't do. I feel, I, I feel that I could accomplish anything right now. It feels to me like the entire universe is queued up to give me anything that I'm wanting on any subject. Money has never been a problem for me. It never will be a problem to me. It's just a matter of identifying what I want. Now what can I think of? What other subject could I think of and maintain for about 17 seconds? So isn't it nice that my personal life experience is going to constantly give me reason to line up my energy. If there's ever anything out of alignment, I'm going to sense it on some level. And if my dominant intent is to feel emotionally good, then I'm going to close the gap on all subjects, including this subject. Now we stayed there way more than 68 yeah. seconds on that subject yeah. too, you see. Good time for a segment of refreshment. Thank you. Thanks. We are complete.